Well, uh, welcome along boys and girls and uh, <coughs> you can see by the <coughs> excuse me <coughs> the ground under my feet is very uh, it's very dry I'm up on my uh, farm permission here 500 acre one and uh, yeah a couple of fields that way field and woodland that way so I'm going to go to the woodland again today. Um, this is a different part of the woodland. This is the upper woodland, and there's a there's a lower section where I was last time. So uh, so yeah, I'm going to head up to the woodland and uh, excuse me out of breath here. It's uh, it's a fair old walk and it's all uphill and I'm as some of you are aware massively out of shape, but we'll get there eventually. So yeah, uh, let me get to the woods get set up and uh, and we'll get hunting all right hang tight well this is me just stepping into the uh, into the woodland the upper woodland section of my uh, permission as you can see there's a there's a path that goes down here goes down to the waterfall down at the bottom there in the in the valley and the burn um, but uh, but yeah plenty to go at in here um, no specific uh, footpaths really other than this one that uh, like I say goes down to the uh, down to the burn down to the waterfalls but uh, anyway we won't know unless we try and have a nosy round will we so uh, hang tight Let's get going. Well, I fell on my bum to get here. It was all this wild garlic. And I'm just down at the, uh, down at the river, or the, the burn. Savanosi. Lots of junk in there, unfortunately. It's always a shame. I want to get to that section just over there. I honestly don't know how I can get to that. Ah oh well. Let's see if we can get over there. Well, that's where I wanted to be. And uh, I'm going to be honest with you boys and girls, I don't want to go slip sliding down that uh, steep slope at the moment. But uh, maybe for another day we'll get uh, down there just for a nosy about. It really is beautiful here. I am so lucky to have this as a uh, as a permission. But anyway, first find underneath this uh, this big old tree. And there it is. And it looks like a bullet uh, case. And oh, I tell a light. It's a live round. Okay. What are you? What are you? I can't see anything on the base of that, but I don't know, maybe somebody can give me an idea of what that is, a live round, size, calibre, that is, I don't know, I would imagine maybe something like 9mm, maybe, I'm, I have no idea, I'm not a gun person. Well, I say I'm not a gun person. I used to have an air rifle many, many years ago when I was a kid. A .22 air rifle. Right, anyway, we'll take that happily. One live round. Well, there's a surface find. I'm going to say that's a shotgun cart. Yeah, what's left of a shotgun cart? Oh, no, maybe not. Right, why has it got that thing sticking out outside of it? I have no idea. No idea what that is, or was. Ideas in the comments. That pin goes all the way through. All the way into the middle there. Bizarre. I don't know what that is or was. Well, right beside a wall. Big tree. There's the next signal, and I'm not sure if that's a coin or not. If you can see that in there. So let's have a look. No, shotgun. 
Ah. Ah. Oh, well, it's got a broad arrow on it. That's, that's the military broad arrow. Ely. Uh, right, okay, never mind. It's not a military broad arrow. Ely. Ely lock. 12. 12 gauge. Ah, well. There you go. Well, next signal. I think, I think that's it there. I don't know if you can see it. I think it's a button. In fact, it is a button. A teeny little button. Nothing on it. Good sign, though. Yeah, there's a shank on the back. I don't mind uh, that as a sign at all. Yeah, I'll take uh, I'll take buttons of that age. Cool. Right, another hole again near the dry stone wall, and we've got a signal in here somewhere. So uh, let's see if we can uh, dig this out. It's in there somewhere. Shotgun, <laughs> another one. There you go. What else would you find in the woods? <laughs> oh dear. Is it another Ely? Probably is, I can't even see it anyway. Ah oh well, here we go. Well there's another one from another hole just over there now. Right, I'm gonna head into the field and uh, See if we can get anything interesting in there. Well, random first find in the field, but only to be expected. And it's a it's a hinge by the looks of it. <laughs> Dear God, I don't know how I find this stuff. But anyway, it was a good signal, so I had to dig it. Yeah, it's a hinge off of a little piece of furniture, more than likely. All right, well, we'll bag it and uh, carry on. It really is one of the most beautiful days we've had in a long time. <clears throat> and uh, I've taken my jacket off. I've got my sweater on here, but uh, it's living up to, up to its name as being a sweater. Whew. Right, on we go. Well, there you go. I've no idea what that would have been. It's... Uh, Sort of thin at one end and sort of quite thick at the other. Piece of iron, I think. Not overly rusted though, so it's not pure iron. Uh, no, no idea. Unless it's a bit of shrapnel. A bit of bomb shrapnel, maybe, possibly. I don't know. I really don't know. Anyway, onwards and up the hill. Well, I think we've got a coin. I'm sure you can see it there. There's the imprint. Oh no, it's not a coin. Oh, now then. What is that then? Oh well, okay. Ooh. Uh, hang on two seconds, let me give it a brush. I don't even see that. There's looks like there's something written on it, or there was. No, there's, uh, there's nothing on it, although I suspect maybe at one stage there was. And I think that's maybe been part of a saddler's badge. What do you boys and girls think? I think that's what that was. Leave a comment down below if you know what that is or was. Well, there's a hole and there's the find. Now... Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's part of a bomb. Part of the, uh, the shell. I could be completely wrong. I'm willing to be corrected. But uh, grooves all the way around. There, look. There you go. If you know what that is, you know what to do.
Yo! Oh, I'm gonna take my headphones off. Oh, ah, oh. here we go. Can you see that? That looks like a silver thimble to me. What does that look like to you? She's had a hard life. Bless her. But that looks like a silver thimble. Oh, right. Let me uh, let me clean it up a little bit. Hang on. Well there, I don't know if you can see it, but there is the most exquisite little flower pattern going round, or leaf pattern going round the, uh, round the edge of the thimble there. Really very pretty. And uh, it's actually been squashed. You can see it's squashed on this side as well. And the, the top has popped open, so. I'm not gonna clean that anymore until I get home. And uh, I'll put some still photos on, so stay tuned. And there'll be some close-ups of, uh, of this as well. That's great, that's the first thimble I've found. And like I say, that certainly comes across as silver to me. Awesome. Right. <laughs> oh, hang on a second. <laughs> Hole. And I think that's where it came from. Right, okay, hang on. Um, let me put this down because <laughs> this looks like a little lead toy oh oh goodness gracious I, I can't even I can't even do this uh, uh, oh hang on a second listen I'm going to sit you there there we go and I don't know if this is going to work or not but that looks like a little oh I dropped it Oh yes, that is a little, it looks like a little monkey. Oh, sorry, excuse the, uh, the heavy breathing. That is a little monkey, is that what it is? You little monkey, you. <laughs> I'm not gonna, there we go, he's mostly mud. Well, I say it's mostly mud. There we go. Right. <laughs> well, let's get you into some decent light and out of that wind. That is a little monkey. Get in. Isn't that a cute little thing? Isn't that random? Look, look where we are. Look. Middle of a field. Oh, I'm thrilled to bits with that. I thought the thimble was good, but uh, I mean, the thimble's brilliant. What a little monkey. Fantastic. Found with the Golden Mask OnePlus UK. Absolute belter. Sorry, I made up with this. Absolutely made up. We'll give him a good wash at home. Right, I'm still at the same hole, and there's another solid signal in here. So I'm just going to see if I can. Uh, in fact, I'll tell you what, let's uh, ignore the wiggly worms. There's something giving off another signal in. Hang on. Come on, wiggly worms. Right, let's see. Right, I don't know what this is. Let's see if we can uh, see if we can get in a bit deeper. <laughs> don't open that one. There we go. Right. It's just a big lump of coke. <laughs> Annoying. 
<laughs> well, <clears throat> another hole, and that's the signal this time. Looks like a plate of some description. Let's see what it's got on it, if anything. I oh, know it might just be a hinge or a. Yeah, I think. Oh, hang on a second. No, it's a locking plate, isn't it? That looks like a locking plate. Yeah. It's a locking plate. Well, there's no space for a keyhole mechanism. That's where the, uh, the, uh, the sort of bolt would have come out. Unless it goes on that way. Hang on a second, let me clean this. Well, there you go, <clears throat> that's it cleaned up. Now, unless it was some kind of sort of sliding switch, because you could see the, what's left of a dot thing there. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Well, a few bits of lead today as well. There's, a, there's another hefty lump of lead there. Old stuff. Cool. Well, I'm working my way back to the car now, so uh, hang tight, we're nearly done. Right, well, that's the next plug, and that's it there, look. And I think, I think that's going to be a, a doorknob. Let's see if we can... Separate up. Oh. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Oh, a nice one as well. <laughs> okay, again. Nothing here. Brass doorknob in the middle of a field. I should clean up nicely anyway. Might be able to polish that one up. Polish my knob. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> well, uh, that was an absolutely brilliant hunt. I uh, really enjoyed that, and we got some fantastic finds. So uh, bear with me, and we'll uh, we'll have a look. Right. So, we'll <coughs> excuse me. We'll go through the rubbish first. Um, it's an old rusty nail. I didn't show you myself digging that. And we've got three shotgun uh, bases. Three of those there for the, the bin. And what else have we got? We got uh, one, two, three pieces of lead. Uh, do, 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 a hinge. And a locking plate. Um, this thing, <clears throat> like I say, I have no idea what that was. I was thinking that was maybe some sort of shotgun shell, but I don't know. I, I can't get why this is. This thing is protruding through and goes all the way through it. I really don't know. So if you know what that is, then uh, comment down below. Um, the little button, nothing on it, but it's a dainty little thing. <clears throat> The, uh, what I thought was maybe a saddler's badge. Um, again, comments down below if you think that's what that is. I'll hang on to that. I suspect there's been something written on there, but it's, uh, it's long since worn off, which is a shame. Um, this big chunk of uh, metal, which I uh, thought was maybe a piece of shrapnel. And likewise, this piece, which is cleaned up now, you can see the threads in it there. Um, I think that might have been a piece of a a bomb, World War Two bomb. I'll uh, I'll take hints and tips on that one. And then we got the uh, <clears throat> the bullet, of course. Um, let me just measure that. Bear with me a second. Yeah, so the. The, uh, the bullet itself is three centimetres in length. Um, I don't think there's anything on the base. 
yeah I've, I've put my glasses on but there's nothing visible normally they're, uh, they're printed around the base but it's just far too worn it looks like it might have been a miss strike actually because there's a there's a slight dimple just in the uh, in the little uh, charge there in the cap the firing cap I think they call that don't they I'm not a gun expert so uh, and there is such a, another such a slight dimple so it's maybe been a misfire and they've just emptied it out and thrown it cool and then the two uh, two piston resistance the uh, the lovely little silver thimble sadly broken and uh, not complete but it's the first thimble I've found I'll, uh, I'll put some close-up pictures on um, but that really is lovely. I was thrilled to bits with that as you as you heard. And then my favourite and, uh, and my wife's favourite is the little monkey. She said we can keep him. Anybody knows what the monkey's for or was used for? I'm maybe thinking he was maybe a pipe tamper, you know. Again, I'll, I'll put a couple of close-ups on at the end here. And you can have a look and see uh, see what you think. Well, as usual, um, thank you for watching. Um, it's greatly appreciated. Um, hello to everybody out there that's uh, sending kind messages for uh, for my wife Pam as well. And uh, yeah, um, if you're new, subscribe button's just on the right hand side here. Um, Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Alright, bye for now.